BT Jamie here, and today we're gonna do some card lottery, card making, with the theme of Halloween -y time. <laughs> I know it's that time of year. It's thinking about falling leaves and. Not to sound whiny, but ours here in my part of Texas, when they, when they decide to fall, they turn brown and fall. Or they just fall and then turn brown. But that's okay. I know of the beauty of fall. Mm -hmm. We get finished with summer. Now it's just little summer. <laughs> Any hoots? Y'all saw that there stamp set I'm going to be using. Not all of them. I'm not going to use the weed. I'm using the pumpkin and the poison bottle and the uh, the raven, the crow, the blackbird, whatever you choose to call it. My ink pad just, it just seems so light. So I checked to see if it was inked and yeah, it's got ink on it. They're new stamps. Well, they're not. They're new stamps I've not used before, but they're not new. I've had them since Clarence last year, or in the spring, whatever, whenever they was on Clarence. So I'm using the stays on ink pad for uh, my um, stamping buddy plate platform thing because my big archival ink pad is very difficult to use on this because I just got the big one. I guess I should try to see if I could find a smaller one like this stays on, but you know, so it goes. Oh, there is a list of ingredients in the description box below. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the stamps I use later on, I have no clue where they're from. Just saying, just let me put that out there and add bands, add bands. So, I'm going to use just the stencil out of this set, because I like the stencil. Well, I like the whole set. And we're going to use the Nouveau Expanding Mousse, which is uh, a sort of embossing or um, texture paste. It's not textured. Anyway, you can sort of make it textured. If you leave it plain, it stays all shiny and shimmery. If you hit it with the heat gun, it expands and puffs up, and it kind of goes duller, duller, more matte, more matter even. Um, but there will still, it will still retain some of the shimmer down inside. You can use this sort of like you would a wax. Uh, it will dry on its own. It does dry on its own. I am not going to use the heat gun on uh, on this because I want it to stay shimmery and not. Um, puffed up. Not, not moved up, y'all. I don't want it to span. So you have the option of doing it that way. So now we're going to go back to our stamp spins. How I'm happy that the ink is probably plenty dry enough. I am just using plain old card stock, y'all. Cord, card stock, y'all. And I'm going to use these here watercolors. That's why this is a true mixed media piece for me, y'all. We got paper, we got watercolor, we got acrylic uh, paste stuff, and Mm -hmm. There'll be some heat embossing magic later on. So I thought I sped up through this. I don't know how long it took me, y'all. It took at least an hour, hour um, to do to do my cards, and uh, I have sped it up for your viewing convenience. Mm -hmm. And uh, here's that raven. I put in blue on him. That first one got just a little too much shimmer, but so it goes. We'll do a little pencil work on them. Not much, y'all. Don't expect me. I'm no D.D. Willingham. Mm-mm. I know D.D. Willingham. We friends, y'all. Me and her daughters is BFFs. Mm-hmm. Any hoots. Uh, she's in this whole other state. Any hoots. Uh, we're going to do a little pencil work. Just don't expect no D.D. style from me, because... Mm-hmm. Not, I'm not it, y'all. I got a little outside the line, so I used a little white eraser to erase it. You really can't tell. I mean, once I get some distressed and distressing going on, you you'll never even know, cause you'll you'll never know. I just told you, but you'll never know. So now we're going to color our stem on the pumpkin. 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 Ha 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 ha. Uh, I'm using myself. I hope 
everybody's doing great. All the kids are back in school and out of your hair, giving you free time to do your art and yourself. And then we're going to just use this here color pencil in here. We're going to try to darken up some of that part of the bird. And it's hard to see the shimmer of those watercolors on the video. And I don't think it came off very well in the photo montage either, but it's a shimmer watercolor, y'all. Oh, Tweet Tweet says the bird. <laughs> Ah, how convenient was that? It was almost like I planned it, but I didn't. <laughs> Makes me happy. This is a funny little card. Oh, we're going to take this here black paint marker. It's a Higgins, and we're just going to enhance that there bird eye. And um, mm -hmm. I'm doing sort of a weird shape on the. It's not really round, it's just kind of round. And now we're going to hit that with the heat gun, y'all. Where's the heat gun? Oh, no, not yet. No heat gun. Seriously. Seriously. Just put a white dot. Put the spark of life in that bird's eye. That's what I like to call that little white dot, the little white smosh. It's the spark of life in the eyes, y'all. Maybe we're going to hit it with heat gun now. Heat gun. Heat gun. Heat gun, y'all. <laughs> it's a little slightly hidden down there. So we're just going to dry that a little bit. That's a um, jelly roll uh, white pen. So, mm -hmm. and that that one had just too much white, so I did just had to go around it a little black a little bit. Just yeah. Now we're going to get real fancy, and we're going to use some glossy accents on that there eyeball, so we can make it shiny. Sorry about that ruffling noise. My arm went up and was hitting the microphone. Microphone. So we're just putting just teeny tiny dot. I don't even know. If, You'll, I don't even know. I didn't look close enough to see if you can tell. Pretty sure you can't see it in the picture. I don't know. Photo montage? I don't know. We'll see. So, now we're going to distress the edge, uh, the edge of the paper with the uh, scissors there, y'all. It just gets very fluffy paper dust stuff everywhere. And we did all of them. Real quick like, y'all. Live turtle action. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm getting out the uh, coffee ink, and we're going to ink around the edges with the coffee. Mm -hmm. It's a good brown, y'all. I think it's a good brown. I like it. It's a brown brown, whereas sepia is kind of slightly, ever so, ever so slightly reddish, which I like sepia, too. But I like this coffee. So we'll go around all of them. So we got still got paper dust everywhere. Now we're back to our uh, card uh, card front thing. Um, it's all nice and dry. Just set it aside and let it dry while I was painting on those little images and doing all that stuff. And this dried it dries really fast, y'all. Mm -hmm. Without the heat, can it dry pretty fast? Of course, it's not super thick either. And it, it like I said, you hit it with heat gun, it just puffs all up. Now we got my little embossing uh, uh, pillow, anti-static pillow thing. I made it myself, y'all. I did. I'm handy like that sometimes. And I'm just mooshing it all over the inside of my card bases because I'm going to do some hand embossing in there. That was my pillow. Pillow. And I fiddle fart. Excuse me. I fiddle around with this uh, stamp. I don't think they came from the same step cause, or set because... You know, I mix it up a lot, y'all. That's why I lose names and stuff sometimes. So I fiddle with this for quite forever, forever, before I get it the way I sort of think I want it. <laughs> that's the way it's going to be. Want it or not, that's how it is. And uh, we're going to use that there, and we're just going to stamp it sort of where I think maybe middle-ish is. Middle-ish is. <laughs> Okay, it's on there. We got our paper underneath. We've got a little foam pad underneath there to give it just a little cushion. We're putting some copper on there. I know it, it looks like it matches my. Uh, uh, oh, wait, we got a reminder. Do something, y'all. Uh, my little wristband there. We take away just a little bit of extra stick around there. I don't know why it's stuck. It's just a little tiny bit. Let's scooch that out of the way. Scooch it over. The heat gun, heat it up for just, you know, just 30, 25 seconds or something. So it get hot. Get ready for the magic in real time. Oh, it's magic.
romantic. Oh. Oh, I just love that. It's just, it's like magic. It really is. It just melts that little powder. Just, and next thing you know, bam a lamb, you got a copper cauldron. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. I know it's a little early. It's a little early yet in the month. But that's okay. That's okay. Okay, here's our uh, card front. Whatever that thing is called. I can't, for the life of me, all of a sudden cannot remember what this thing is called. I know y'all yelling at me. That's okay. I do know what it's called. <clears throat> I just can't think of it. We're going to use our ATG gun to put some permanent adhesive tape runner on there. Mm -hmm. Advanced tape clatter. I know I'm slightly above screen, but so it goes. And I'm just using my, my thumb to burnish that down. I do have bone folders. They're not real bones, but I have them. I just didn't feel like reaching it. I like it. Let's do it. I'm just gonna use the advanced tape clatter ATG gun. We're just gonna stick these down. All my cards are gonna look exactly the same. Exactly. Almost like a machine did it. <laughs> Surely y'all don't believe that. Surely. No. My bottle doesn't look very green, but it sort of is in real life. Happy Halloween! Oh, we need something on the back. Let's put our door on the back. You know, door, normally it's a purple door, but purple doesn't show up on the black cardstock so well. So we're going to use our rose gold. Now, I like the color, but this is an, you know, I wouldn't say it was a cheap ink pad, but that little foam pad in there is pretty cheesy, y'all. Just, just saying. It's just, yeah. We decided we was going to uh, heat emboss again with the copper. Uh, that skull and crossbones across the top of the door. Halloween time, y'all. Watch magic, real time. Oh, he can. <laughs> Love it. We're almost ready for the photo montage. Oh, look at that. APT Jamie, that's me. <laughs> Let's do that again. APT Jamie. <laughs> oh, no. I ran out of envelopes. For some reason, I had more card bases than I did envelopes. I can't imagine why. Someone must have messed up an envelope or four or two. So we're just going to make them on our handy dandy Rior Memory Keepers uh, envelope punch board. I love this thing. I know you can use your scoreboard, whatever. You don't need a punch board to make an envelope, but I love it. And I use it, and I have certainly got my money's worth out of it. Just let me put that two cents out there. Money's worth for two cents. <sighs> With a little glue on there, that's by watered down Aileen's original tacky glue. It's just a little, little thinner, so I can come out that bottle more easier. More easier is a true phrase now. Not like in the old, way back olden days where you just said easier. Now it's more easier or more easily. Mm -hmm. We need some more action verbs, y'all. So our envelope's off, folks. Oh, it's short. Poop. Will our card fit in there? Barely. Barely fits in there, y'all. Mm -hmm. Get ready. We're going to decorate the outside of the envelope or envelope, depending on how you pronounce it. I say it both ways. I just don't know which way it's going to come out when I say it. Yep, we're going to put that there. It's this fancy, scrolly, frilly looking spider webby thing. Mm -hmm. Fancy, scrolly, spider webby thing. Mm, it's pretty. That rose gold is pretty. Photo montage. It's a short one, y'all. So you know what that means. Mm hmm I appreciate each and every one of you. Your kind comments, your likes, your shares. I really like your shares. Your subscriptions. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already done so. Thanks for watching and happy arting, y'all.